efforts. The state's largest school district, by the way, which there is a, a small amount of dollars that the state provides to us, 12 million, that compares with 4 billion uh, to the rest of the state. Uh, and uh, we are back to square one, a situation where um, the state's largest school district receives 0 0.3 uh, percent of its pension funding uh, and the rest of the state receives full funding uh, and it has put us despite the increase in um, some general state aid last year that was shared by all districts particularly those with low-income children um, it puts us back to square one in terms of the inequity our kids receive 76 cents in funding for every dollar that the rest of the state's children receive on average and of course that disparity falls most heavily on uh, at-risk children here in Chicago, uh, primarily black and brown children. Uh, the, the benefits of the uh, escalating state subsidies for uh, downstate and suburban schools uh, benefits, uh, benefits uh, more affluent, um, more white uh, communities. Uh, as we've talked about before, this, is, uh, this, this accentuates a, uh, this is a further evidence of the state's lack of commitment to children here in Chicago, and it is a fundamental civil rights issue. Um, we have literally lost hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars because we have, uh, 50 years after Brown versus the Board of Education, a separate but unequal school funding system. And our kids are the ones that have to pay the price for that. So we will work with the board, we will work with our legislators, we will work with our parents in our community and we will continue to fight to, uh, to remedy that injustice.